Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Listen, I want to talk about this, this word pride. You know, in the Bible, uh, the, the Lord says, listen, he resists pride um, and that he gives grace to the humble. You know, as leaders, sometimes uh, we're, we're fearful to let people see that we don't always have it together. And pride will teach you how to fix, try to fix something that you know you keep failing at. Pride will put you in a position to uh, to to harm the very thing you think you care about or the, the, to harm the very thing that you do care about. Excuse me. The Bible says in first Peter chapter five, cast all your cares upon him for he cares for you. A sign to show that you're dealing with pride is when you care about something, but you refuse to give it to God. It's almost like we'll give God what we really don't really care about and what we do care about. We're going to hold on to. And so I just want to encourage you uh, that it's OK not to have it all together, because that's why God says cast all your care upon him. It's OK uh, to to be troubled because that's why we need a God. Are you listening to me? Do not allow pride to put you in a place where you are destroying what you really think you're taking care of. Listen to me. Don't let pride put you in a place where where you are destroying what you really think you're taking care of. It is okay to go to God and need his grace. Remember, God's will will always be done, but the question is, will it be done through you? Love you and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.